back to GCS machinery. We had 24 hours of mayhem. We've nipped to Scotland, we come home, and the heavens have opened. And there's water everywhere. Um, I won't lie, we woke up at 2.30 this morning to my dogs paddling in water in the house because we've had that much rain. So, but lucky we are in our GCS shop, we sell water pumps. So we're all right, we've still got some pumps going and, and we got it sorted. Um, and we've got load hangers in, but even when I pulled outside the workshop, it's full of the maps in it. But anyway, I've been about on track today doing other stuff as well. So um, here's a few bits and pieces that we've come across today. Um, in this um, extreme weather that we're having. So uh, anyway, please enjoy the video and please click and subscribe in the, in, and make comments in the box below. somewhere we've been pumping water now for about three hours um the rain we had it i didn't hear it but it must have been seriously torrential to, to um a flood to the extent it has a, a lot of roads in Lincolnshire are really really awful we've been at the farm here they came to see if it was all right and we needed help um but we've got plenty of pumps in the earth working um so we do show the bad bits here at gcs not just the good bits um but we can see there's a courtyard there still full of water um, but we are pumping out We have actually dug a trench with this later, so if, it does, if we have more trench rain out again, it will take water away. Um, but never ever have I known this amount of water to fall in a very, very short period of time. So. Right, I've just popped into Horncastle on the way through, and you can see the river over there. The water can't see businesses, so uh, absolutely savage. Look at that, absolutely savage. But uh, we're going to look from the other side. Now we come to the other side of the river that runs through Horncastle. As you can see, it's uh... <laughs> yeah, I think you've got a bit of white water, but. Uh, what we do for try for is these local businesses here we're having to sandbag up and get themselves sorted because uh, just look at that look how bad that is but if you actually look across the wall there there's a plaque on the wall and that plaque on the wall is how high the water went in 1960 um, so still got a way to go there yet but uh, nonetheless not good, not good for local businesses. Um, it's not absolutely disastrous, but uh, the water there really is uh, a flowing video on. So we have got serious flooding everywhere. And uh, I do feel quite sorry for the people in some of these cars because they, um, they go through these puddles and then, um, oh my God, there's a car there and it's, just look at that one, look. Look how deep they're going through the car there. Um, it's a very serious water here. 
um, the joys of having a 4x4 that this amount of rain we're, we're having today is serious. Serious amounts of water. There's a garage there underwater, look at that. How sad for that business owner there, next to where I've just gone through. Oh my God, this is bad. This is bad, so this is, um, yeah. How are you all coping today with the water where you are? It's certainly um, bad here, so yeah. Well, on this cold and wet blustery day, I've just popped into our local uh, Ripon Farm Services to um, get an oil filter. And I just, while I'm here, I just kind of little, little baby Kramer. So uh, I'm just going to show you that. How's that for a dinky little um, compact loaded truck? I'm guessing that's on a similar, similar path to the JCB 8403. But look how cute that is. cab as well whereas I think we've said before in earlier videos some of these products have got very narrow cabs what a little dinky little thing how cool is that anybody got one of these anybody run one if so let us know let us know what you do have a look at how you get on with it what do you think of it Nice class dominator there. Well, they're nice, they're all good. We've sold many, many of those over the years abroad. And uh, yeah, don't see many of them around these days. Water here is quite severe. Right, we've just popped into Pex at Merwin, one of the vans there behind us. And uh, look, brand new JCB 53695. And I think it's been PDI'd here. And I think it's just gonna have some uh, GCS stickers put on it. And then it's uh, another addition to the hire fleet. And there's, there's the smiling salesman there, look. There's Wayne. He's a very good selling machines. I'd have to bring him up and ask him something. And the next thing I know, I've bought a machine. He's, uh, he must have been, I think they're their top salesman. But there you go, brand new machine. There we go, dual tech transmission. And he's just been in here having his final clean and his final final check over from the factory. And uh, another one to join the GCS hire fleet. So uh, Emily wants to hire a nine metre telehandler for a week, month, year, two years, whatever. Be quick, because uh, this one won't hang around very long. But there you go. Nine meter reach, I think it's about as good as, good as you can get, isn't it, Wayne? Mm -hmm. Highest spec as you can get. So, look at that. We're uh, looking forward to getting that, very excited. Another one to join the fleet. So, uh, happy days. I just come home, and my neighbour has got a tree that's blown across half of the A158. So, we're going to go up there. He's not there at the moment. So, we're going to go and push this tree off, off the road for him, make it a lot safer. Um, we nearly get a little, little fall out of retirement last night to. Uh, Tank of water away from the house. Um, so, uh, GCS Hire Fleet <laughs> actually working at home. But anyway, it's a good test for you though, isn't it? To find out how well it works. So, uh, very handy. Right, so go move the tree. The only good thing is with us having a Hire Fleet is that, yes, we've dealt with water, but if it turns to snow and turns really cold, we've also got a snow plow in stock ready to go. So whatever the situation, we hope we're organised for it. I don't know. Got to try. Going to get this tree off the road. That's not our responsibility. We're just doing a neighbourly thing before someone, before someone drives into it.
tree cleared. It's just my neighbour because he's a proper, proper nice guy. But also, being across the road, they come down this road really fast. Sooner or later, someone's going to hit it. And I'd rather spend half an hour of my time doing this than see someone have a bad accident. But uh, this weather is quite severe. And I don't think this will be the last tree that comes down. But um, anyway, we'll go home now and see if my house is flooded again. Hopefully not. Thank you. 